了解。Okay, does this work? Hello, thank you for、uh, mentioning that. I haven't paid attention to the audio meter in OBS. It should be now fine. Now I see something. Anyways,、um, hello and welcome to the Blue Aka stream. I'm your、um, Black Aka Gacha Whale. We got an artist self-proclaimed, and your boy Tosanyu. I'm going to do Tom and Speed Run、um, for day five of the Total Assault, and my goal here. To get like a higher score, or、um, what's possible to get like number one rank here. But what I checked, my score is a seven minute and fifty second run. The current top one is like seven minute thirty seconds.、Uh, the current record from like the JP server is like a seven minute run. And if my homework copying is like successful. And it will be hard for them to catch up since they use like a different, different lineup, and surely a different rotation too. But it depends like on my team, team one with Yuzu, and mostly team three with Katsu if I can get the necessary crits. Nobody in EU uses Mina. The thing is like how Katsu serves the same purpose. But the thing is, like Mina has overall less、um, survivability than Haruka, if fully built, and a lot of people have like Haruka fully built. Mine is like fully built too, but、um, I use like a Mina Pasta UE30 since she has like less HP and、um, overall less survivability, so I can make a better use of sacrifice threats. I think that's like the purpose of using her over Haruka, and maybe like the.、Um, Actually, it's like the only reason. So all they like, so、um, for so far they copy like the top fifteen to top fifty teams. So like,、um, not the top ten、um, um, attempts, but like rather like the top fifty、um, um, teams from JP that they have like Alka. With this kind of formation, so that the first hit doesn't go to Katsuza or Maki, but like to Haruka, when they don't mold too much with the missiles on、um, on them. That's what I think they do. Pull them all away with Shizuko or like two of them, and yeah, I need to do it a different way. Normally, when you have While you're thirty, you can like gamble with the missiles if she can survive that with the block, the cover. But、um, it's like pretty angie. I saw you are like, were like top ten in um, EU um, bit, so that's like pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe a little bit difficult to catch up if your last team is like、um, the one that uses Tiuka. It's like super safe.、Um, it's very safe. I would like say, maybe needs some retry if you mess up the positioning. But overall,、um, it's like a safe way to clear, just not the fastest. I don't know if I can use the Wakamo team. Yeah, this team is not gonna survive that long. You can like cancel one、um, sandstorm, and after that, your team is like alive for. Forty more seconds because the sandstorm is like also coming, or like missiles. Ah, okay, yeah, that, that is fine. That's fine. Anyway, let's go in. I have like two tickets here. I did like one off stream and I got the damage cap, everything. Just not the groggy, so I had like a hard time like finding out the right timing for like the Katsuda team. It's kind of sad <laughs> since I got like the、um, right amount of damage with the user team the first try, and I had like 59 minutes of the ticket left. And I was like, wow, I blundered. But maybe Streamala can help up 
out. I'm gonna keep my expectations low, play like usual. And yeah, my plan with this team here is to get like to 21.3 or like 21.2 million damage with, with here. Compared to like yesterday, Shioko is now 5 star. I used my remaining Ligma to get her to that point. And now Yuzu does instead of like potentially 670k pay X skill, like now to almost 700k. So that's like a big um, gap I closed here out. Um, I'm gonna mold with this team for maximum 30 minutes, so like 50% of my ticket. Since um, the damage I can make with this team is like pretty important for the Katsuza team here. Katsuza can do consistent damage, so if her EX doesn't crit, it's like okay, it's like okay damage, but when she crits like slightly above average, so it's not like with Yuzu, where the damage output is like really big compared to no crit. I kinda need to do more work with Yuzu here, when um, there's like less work for Katsuza. Okay, let's go in, use the second ticket and start the timer. Can adjust my mic's position. Okay, the plan is here to use five EX skills. Also keep an eye on the debuff icons on the top left from Ibina's HP bar. When there's a double before Arts uh, goes down, um, it's good enough. Like a double defense debuff. It lasts like about 10 seconds, so I have to keep an eye on that. Yuzu's um, EX skills do like about, when she doesn't crit, like about less than 100k damage. If she crits, it can go like to 700k. She's really strong. Of course, she needs to be buffed by Serena and Kotama. Okay, double debuff, but not triple, so that's why I didn't do enough damage. It's like RNG on this part too, not only crit, instability. Yeah, the old insane, the old insane crit mods. I remember that was like my first top 10, thanks to her power. Oh shit. It's now double, not triple anymore. So the most amount I can get here is 500k, it's not enough. I want like below 21.4. Pre Katsu and Mika. Even pre Mika, I would say, say because Kart um, Yuzu was still better than Katsu. In theory. It's like a higher ceiling, it's just moldier. I molded the team a lot long time. I didn't got number one, but I got top seven. Oh. No, oh, it missed. Okay. Cars a better character though? 
Yeah, you might be right. I mean, use is just like has like higher ceiling in Kazusa. Kazusa is more consistent. That's like um, what I can tell, gameplay wise. I mean, we can agree on this, right? If we talk about insane, if it's torment, then both are important. I don't know how it looked like with um, Tress Kayako when she's gonna come out. There's like the theory we can two pun and we don't need Katsu-san Yuzu. Yeah, I mean it's your opinion. Some people have like different um, preferences. And can respect that. And Katsuza has, is like pretty much the girlfriend experience. Yuzu not really, she's for me like a daughter. Rather than like a girlfriend. And a little bit relatable. But maybe because we are gamers. <laughs> And most gamers are like introverted, so yeah, there's like the connection of that. Yeah, Tress Kyoko probably gonna make 2 point doable since she's red armor. Hmm. Yeah, those um, Kyoko enjoyers gonna thrive here. With like the triple bond 50 Kyoko. <laughs> I know of someone who already had. Uh, my friend Liz, who has like double dump bond 50. Now when Tres Kayoko is gonna come around, it's gonna be close to 150. That's like, yeah. Don't need Chizuko for phase 2. No, probably not. You just need someone to take the laser. Need to survive the missile somehow if you can't cancel it. <clears throat> A DPS alt. Hmm. Yeah, if we talk about the OG, um, the OG is like a DPS. Best dead stick in the game, I think. Mm, it's a restart. Okay. Now, but I know when the characters are striker, you can pull them in. You can do things with them in the formation um, room. Like pick them up, you know. And if there's a striker in the field, they can do a little bit of um, damage, like this way. Oh, double? Yeah, the buff ran out. So she's outclassed? Oh, I see. Iroha? Maybe Yuzu? Made Yuzu, maybe? No, she's still not bad. I mean, she's not the worst. Maybe like around 8 here for stat sticks, but not ST anymore.
but I can't say too much too, since my Saki is like not 5 star plus, it's still like 4 star. Yeah, just used her like in times for old um, Beater Torm and Body Throws. Mine's only UE40, fake fan. <laughs> hmm. I mean, UE40 is good enough. Then you can li um, listen um, cope a little bit instead of like losing Eligma. Like each um, elef you can drop in lessons, saves you like 5 Eligma. Especially Gacha, since, since she's permanent. So this is not too bad, what you do. And except before you was in the game. Oh. Sugoijan. Okay, this is great. You're doing like a meta player. Fantastic. I'm proud. <laughs> but I don't know like a meta player. The thing is like when you have like a favorite student or wife in the game, then of course your motivation is gonna be a lot bigger. And taking the game seriously and like min maxing. Especially if you know like your favorite student is like not the most used or like very niche, then you know like okay, I need to focus on this and that in the meta to get like the most out of it. But also find a way of making my girl be viable or top 10 or something. I like people like this too. It's like kind of the value of like, yeah, um, I want to be a true enjoyer of this character. Not like having her um, standing like a figurine, like a merge somewhere in the corner and not using her ever again. I know of people who spent 200 bucks for putting S cheese in and then not using her. It's kinda like, eh, you know. Should have built my S Wakamos, I could justify using Saki for Bina. S Saki. Yeah. I think UE40 is good enough. But if you UE50, she gets like the sun classes. Hmm. Well, you can use Esaki in two um, total souls, crown of souls. But that's good enough. You have like opportunities to use her. Uh, for Yuzu, I don't have many opportunities anymore after um, this one. Can take this one. I need it like 21.4. If I can like get far below, it would be fantastic, but I'm gonna take this for now. 38.9? Okay, that's like in the record. Like less than um, 39 seconds. Less than 40 seconds even. Let's go with team 2. Those two are up on 33, but let's use a uh, someone who can use the coins better. This one, this person here is in gold. Doesn't do torment or speedrun insane, so I'm gonna send the credits to someone who can make better use of it. 
Look out for Fricala and the last thing I got with Dunnies. Use mine. Hmm. Okay, we, there was a delay. Let me go back <laughs> for a moment. Uh, it's still like in the early phase, so I can't afford to. I can't afford that. I only have T7 watch. Ah, okay. Let's see. Alright, thanks for pointing that out. The thing is, like, this watch gives, like, extra HP too, and so ability here can be, like, um, pretty clutch, since she has to tank, like, two AoEs. Oh, this is a good step. Surprisingly. Yeah, she can live. It's still Anji, though. <laughs> and more damage sounds always good, since what? <laughs> so the team with the goal with this team is to get Bina below 12 million, optimally at like 11.4 million. It's like possible with this team. Oh, strong stab. Normally I get like around 60 million, but it's now 15.8. Sugoishan. The thing is like, when you mold for survivability, Maki needs like over 25% HP, and Mika over 50% to like survive. For guaranteed. They can like survive a crit like that. If I can do that first try with the Mika team, it saves me a lot of time from the ticket. Oh, to the last girl. Oh, this is too much croaky, I think. Yeah, this is too much groggy. Ah. I need like the groggy at uh, below the free, not here. That's like too much, I think. But the damage cap is really close, since like 11.4 is needed. Yeah, I'm gonna restart here. Um, luckily, this team is the easiest to play. Uh, next to its uh, competition of team 4. If the numbers are right, I can do team 4 in one try too. This here needs a little bit of adjustments, but I have a lot of time. Yeah, you need to get the low rolls of the cards of that team if you have like this case. I had like this case in the last ticket, so I know like trying to adjust it is like... Yeah. <laughs> Not the best. So like the only way to get like more damage in is to do more with the user team in the beginning. And then um, you get like the consistent damage output from the Mika team. And um, then it should be GG's normally. But it's kind of like RNG how much um, groggy you get from Mika's attack sometimes. Mm. Mm, 
Yeah. Yeah. That is true. But with what I currently have here, with um, Yuzu's um, effort, I can actually beat. Um, I can be actually be number one on the ranking, and that can be hard to beat since it is Moldy. and not a lot of people have like Bond 50-50 um, Yuzu. I'm like probably um, flexing on all the people here on the leaderboard. My cards are like not this strong, you know, you have to like set your priorities and which character to make strong, but I now like both important, so I'm gonna use both. Since she's literally completely maxed, yeah. <laughs> she's like the most borrowed in my list, it's the first time ever. Back in the days it was like more cards or like Mika, but now we are in the urban territory, so naturally people are gonna resort to the strongest fighter. Since Mika like takes so much time with the setup. I'm really surprised nobody else using this ma the Mina team though. Then mm, I'm nobody. I'm nobody. Just you, <laughs> yeah. They're using the safe approach. It's understandable. And um, not using um, Eligma or resources to get Mina to 5 star, 4 star. Yeah, Mina carried me in Gregorius. And she was free star back then. Nah, that's not enough. On damage. The Krog is alright, but not the damage. I like Mina. I just don't have the Eligma to invest in her. Need to use 50 Makoto and Dihina. Hi, hi, hi. We can only pray in like Gacha. We ended the mercy of Arunachan. <laughs> if you want that student, you will have to take her. But you know that already. Like worst case, like 24 minus 24k um, pyroxenes each banner, <laughs> and we can only get one copy, like via Aspark. every banner. This is like the whale approach, but it's like the safest approach, I would say, in order to get everyone to you 50 you want. If your luck is like garbage, which can happen. It can happen that we can be lucky too, but I wouldn't be optimistic um, regarding that. You have to be, yeah. <laughs> you have to account for like the bad uh, options.
Kellers Akane. Sounds like a smart approach. But this doesn't do enough damage, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Dress Kayoko seems important. But there are a lot of other students too, since like the tower mode. With um, Fury of Set, I think like Wrath of Set, they're gonna um, call it in global. Um, the rewards you can get from this mode seems like pretty good too. Like Limit Break, and past floor 100 you can get like the um, purple gift loot boxes. So I will, yeah. For any enjoyer of like flexing with their favorite students, it is like a motivation actually to try hard there. And you can get that every month. So missing on those, out on those rewards is like, eh. The blue team's super weak. Hmm, yeah. This is like a problem for a lot of players. The thing is like, blue is the only content where you don't have a hyper carry. Where you have like, to play around the mechanics and be skillful. Which is good. But for some players who are free to play, also bad. Like in red, we have Hina, haha, <laughs> one team goes brrr with Mika. With Mika, we have like a um, safe yellow carry. It's like, yeah. I mean, Hina has somewhat of a carry, but what can she do in Furious Set, right? Uh, right? You know? We have no, no real hyper carry, I would say. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for the basic skill. Yes, yes. Forgot about that. One, two, three. Okay, I reached like this damage cap. Sometimes the bong. Boss is too strong versus the carry. Mm. Sometimes you don't play in the best amount of rule sets. In the best rule sets. Like in Fury of Set, the game is like rigged. The X skills, the, the damage from EX skills does like 80% less damage. Oh shit, I messed up. Um, that's a restart. I missed like potentially 200-300k damage. How much time am I here? The user team took like 7 minutes. And here I'm... I should actually do the first try, I said. But yeah, I'm restarting a lot often. Because I mess up in the mid game, not end game. <laughs> Let me focus. We start. You can. You can bow out. Okay. 
We can only borrow one. For each team. If you check on Corsu's um, videos, he has like a furry or set um, clear of top one of the 100th floor We're using like free to play um, specials. Like not instant Shigure, but like normal Hanako, for example. No Atsuko. Yeah, something like that. Welcome, fair skies. I'm reading it later when I have to restart our pause. I'm so focused right now. Ah, shit. I didn't focus. Okay. I'm saving yellow coins to make Atkotama and Hanako follow our budget set team. Great. <laughs> Keep it up. Hanako is like pretty good since she can carry in um, Kirokage as well. Damage is better. Oh, okay, good step. HP wise, yeah, they can survive that. Safe. Yeah, wait for the basic. I'm saying out loud the things I need to do, so I don't forget. Imari before 10 cost. Buff. Debuff. When Maki throws the paintball. Wait for 10 cost and then do Himari into Fuka and wait for Akane. Wait for Akane. For 10 cost. That's the last time she used her ex-girl. Okay, when Maki throws the paintball, I'm gonna do Mika into Himari, then buff again. When Mika uses her basic skill, I'm gonna buff that um, the ex-girl also like with Himari again. And cycle back into Fuka and to Mika. Go no one speed since position number two. I can auto that. Then I should get like to 11.5. 11.7, huh? That's a restart. I want to get like somewhere close to that. Um, let's do that one last time with that team though. Since the Katsura team can take in the worst case 10 minutes for one sandstorm cancel. Unless I'm getting lucky. Normally you should be able to do this team one try, since it's like the easiest team. For some same reason my focus like so off. <laughs> it's 
Lancer probably gonna um, plunder that one. Uh, don't you have to be lucky with that? Yes and no. The thing is, I'm doing some um, advanced technique from a Korean player. Yeah, put it like there. Well, actually... I can take this. Hello Abstract, welcome to the torment speedrun attempt. I'm low on time here with this team, but um... I'm trying to mod like for a good more steps here to make it easier for the last team or um, my remaining teams. Like currently in focus, can make up the basic skill. One, two, three. Wait for ten cost. Oh, this was a good step. Now we're lucky, frosty paintball. Then the 10, then before the cost gets full, I do Himari to Fuka. No, I have no regrets. Wait for 10 cost. Into Himari, into Fuka. The damage looks good. One, two, three. Oh, this could get me to 11.5. I can auto that skill now. Oh, this is too much groggy. Fuck. This is a restart. Ah, <sighs> gosh. Hmm. Did you regret investing Noah after you found that trick? No. I'm a, a Bina main. It helped me like in the Grand Assault um, Bina. Um, before the year ended. I gotta see this trick. I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah. I can do it actually in one try, so I actually can clear Torment here just in 20 minutes, like one try. I did that in my last stream, last attempt. You can actually see that. I modded like user for 30 minutes, didn't got what I wanted, then okay, just get more far clear, and then I did in 20 minutes. <laughs> so it's like not that difficult. I use one backup team though. But that team lost it like 40 seconds, 50 seconds. So clearing is not the issue. But what I'm doing here, like, um, for any free to play, it looks like a little bit scary. Since losing, to um, losing, like, the risk in Torment is like a lot higher than in um, Insane. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna fall clear. I'm going to fall, going for clear. This step is like not that great anymore. And a full run team needs like 4 minutes.
To be fair, if you have the strats, units taunt Beena's at one of the most consistent rates. That is true. Still, Beena's like the most challenging. And so last time, um, Beena, Torment, is gonna be challenging ever again. The next time he returns is gonna be... Yeah. Pretty free. And Torment, Grand Assault, for example, for Blue, you can just do double Wakamo, two pun. And when Treskayoko is out, it's technically a two pun too. So yeah. What did they do to my boy? <laughs> but yeah, that also means um, if you want to be like, um, be respected for your skills, then it be not torment in this one. It's like your last chance to like prove yourself. I heard you have to mold Seahara though. Yeah, I guess. If you want a speedrun though, I mean, um, the damage from Wakamo is very consistent, you know. Oh! Low stab? With that much damage from user team? Omoshiroi na. Seen it the first time. Okay, I'm losing time. I know. I lost like two minutes here. Let's go for clear. I can't speed run anymore with this much, with this um, few amount of time. Ah, it fought Cosmica. Oh, decent step. Uh, HP wise, they can also survive for free. When Mika, when Maki is exactly 25%, it can be a little bit gambly. Since you have to pray for no crit Sombina. But like this, it's like safe. Okay, good step. Imari into Fuka with Fakane. When Maki throws a paintball to Mika. Into Himari. Into Fuka. Shoot after the basic skill. Okay, this could be too much groggy now. I need to like take it. Oh, this is enough. Enough. Okay, this is enough. Team three. So in the worst case, the next team is gonna take ten minutes. But the last team will take about two to three minutes. So let's say 30 minutes, and we have 3 minutes of breathing room. It's enough time for extra body throw team. Crossing my fingers. <laughs>
And so, now about the technique, how to keep Noah safe. It's gonna take a little bit while, a little bit. Gonna use 4x skills first. Now Archon Kartuser. The fifth one's gonna show it. So, I use Shizuko before the course gets full. And the timing needs to be like precise. Well, Noah, star level doesn't matter for that. Do Noah as soon as possible when you pull her away, and then yeah, you have this solution, um, uh, this uh, outcome. People like check the timer, but I check the cost for that. Okay, now I need to restart since the croc is not, uh, um, not the right amount. Takes me about 10 minutes in the worst case. Adjust the cast rat. Yeah. But the thing is, like, Mina's gonna die sooner than Haruka. That's what I assume. Normally you just pull Katsas away, but it doesn't make a difference if you pull Noah away too. The thing is, like, just don't pull um, Maki. She can survive that, actually. It's gambling, yes, but it works. You need any damage you can get from here. So I can like see why um why number one in Japan, like Akira san um didn't pull Noah away. It's like a little bit of copium on damage here, what you can get. But fit, since she's blue, it's not that important. It's like optional to have her there. As additional um cop DPS. Okay, that's average. One million. One speed. Yeah. There can be improvement, for sure. I'm gonna take this here. It's not a speech run, but I need to go for a clear since I don't have much time. In the worst case, it will take me 10 minutes if I don't take this one. Akira, CEO of Whale. Hi. The triple rank 1 goes hard. And manipulating her self buff timings? Hi. Needs like a lot of mocks, I think. To get this right though. I'm gonna use a backup team. And, uh, use Aria Squad. Then I can do three times Mio and Tonere. And one singular Hiyori. I'm using like some sacrifice strat too. Normally use like Hiyori first to get like as much damage as possible, but I need to go like for the usage of Nero Mio rather than like um, maximum of the amount of damage since I don't deploy this team for too long. It's like semi speed run, but I can't. But it takes like too long, like what, for almost one minute to deploy this team. If I want to beat number one, I need to need this team to be deployed in less than thirty seconds. I can only get like one or two Nero Mio in.
maybe I should use like hmm, something different here. Yeah, the skill order doesn't matter that much here anymore. I think if you want rank 1, you need to get good enough rolls to the point where you need, don't need to use this team. Yeah. So you're saying I need to like, retry more with the Katsura team, huh? <laughs> like it really, it mainly depends on the team. But if I can get like a good enough, um... Good, get good enough damage for the user team? Then, yeah. Would make a big difference. Your mina team doesn't do enough damage to get you to f below 4.5 million. Then it's not worth. How do you make that boss target your tank? Okay, I always focus my backline. Uh, try and error. You need to like experiment. I don't really know how it works um, with Bina's um, auto aim, but for some reason, while we're in phase two, he targets always position number two. When we're in phase three, his priority goes like towards the one who's like the closest. It's like somewhat something you should like um, notice on the subtle hints. There are like no guidelines for that. Maybe like in Japan they are like distraught enough to share those secrets, but in EU, like global um, community in general, there's like not this much of a uh, um, shared community knowledge. It's like mouth to mouth. All like communicated verbally. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it really depends, I would say. Can you show damage at the end? I see. Yeah, I can do that. I'm gonna time the Junko here. Channel will do like a critical resistance debuff. 2 minutes 17. I'm gonna check here the debuff icon here. When Channel shows up, then I'm just gonna do that. Um, Makamo. Auto Sayonara skill. Keeping an eye on those again. When Kanas is being applied, I release a Junko's one. And interrupted, Kana as soon as possible, Wakamo as soon as possible, then it's GG's. When um, Kana is gonna pop up. Yeah, you need to crit more a little bit, but in um, optimal case, you take like 70 seconds with this team, else it's like um, 5 to 7 extra seconds. And this would be like, yeah. Top 10, top 10 score. Kana, Ayane, Wakamu are you 50 by the way. They're like next. The Wakamu does here like more than 1 million damage. So her damage is important here too. It gets like the sun class when you give fair UE50. 
But okay, this was my second ticket. Now I have one more ticket left. Let's see. Oh, Neva is now number one. Now using this usual strat. Okay. I give it a try with my four star one. Surely it'll work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you just want to clear. If it's better for speedrun, I don't know. Maybe the damage over time from the gamers are better. Also, you get heal from Midori. To make, like, the tank survival a little bit better. But yeah, you're close to getting kicked out of um, top 10. Hmm. You have to cheer in and... Yeah, okay. You use this rare too. Hmm. Wakamosaki. Yeah. But you really need the defense down, I would say. I see no Simpson Artsa. I see no Neo Harana. I see no Racer. I see no Hiori. So I assume you have like a lot of HP left um, with the final team. So you need like 3 for yellow DPS. I made it insane with 2 units, Mina. Cool. Mm. Breezy. Great. <laughs> that shows like that um, Bina and Saints are punching back. Now it's like 200k. 200k! I got like something similar um, in my last. with my remaining last team here. Um, that took like maybe 11 seconds with, this do with those two. Or like almost 15 seconds. Since Isa got to activate her um her basic skill with the crit resistance down. Bina's Mika's punching back? For insane sure. For insane she's sure um um the one who beats Bina's a punching back. I think with my team Sioko is better than Sione. If I don't use Sioko for team one, then I don't do enough damage. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to say keep it, so... Like that. To want to K those a lot. Maybe you can do really something like using your Esaki to get like the triple debuff and then crit mold. If you have Swimsuit Ui, you can like actually buff like... Yori for example. And if you get like two crits of her X skill, it's like GG's. The crit chance without any crit rate buff is like for her 46%. It's like an average one out of three crits. But maybe you can get two out of three crits. Then you can do it like in less than 50 seconds. That was 15 seconds. A lot of people have Iori UE50 by now. Still salty I didn't get my Akko. I have my Himari finally though. Great. Ah, Akko. There's like a radar banner of her right now. Didn't got lucky? Make my team 5 was 15 seconds. Oh, okay. Then no, never mind. Then no, never mind. Never mind. Wanted to give in my input, but it seems like you're cooking good enough without um, help from from outside.
There are a lot of characters you can use. If it's not phenomenally clear, you have like a lot of options, but if you opt for a speedrun, you want like those EX skills that do um, defense down. Like with Eshanok, for example, it's like also not bad, but it takes like 30 seconds until it gets activated, so you can't really like opt for those kind of strats. Kasumi is like long lasting. Yeah. Does Esaki more? Let me check. This is like level 3, it's like 25%. Oh! Kasumi does more at level 3 than at level 5 from Saki. Ah, <laughs> interesting. At one point I was using Junko, Cherino, Meru, Nere, Kana, Eshiroko. Kana, Nere, Miu is such a good cycle of Eshiroko. How long does Bina take for Sandstorm last phase? Every 60 seconds. In the very first Bina tournament was 30 seconds, so uh, this was like pretty hard. I lost 9 tickets <laughs> there, but um, we got like nerfed to like 60 seconds, but now we have to fight Bina in Urban Warfare so far. So that's like the trouble. You can still use Mika here, but it's like her worst mood. So you need like some setup teams first. Let me hydrate myself first, and then I'm gonna start. Okay, let's go in. Last ticket. Start the timer. If I can get like 21.4 or 21.3, maybe low that, um, I will take the run. At average, it's like 15 minutes. Like, worst case. But I'm ready to go like 30 minutes with this team. Restarts. And so Arzu does debuff ran out, so I'm like a double debuff, not triple anymore. Without the triple, she does like 500k max. With the triple debuff, it's like 700k. Okay, I might have another chance to clear this. Great. The plan, like in Bina, is a low level, or like been out home in general, that you use a body throw and groggy build teams first, and then you use like your strongest fighter last. The long lasting teams and main fighters, so to say. If you tr bring your body throw teams um, last, then yeah, it's gonna be hard clearing wise. Speedrun wise, people, speedrunners wouldn't mind. Normally. Why don't you swap Atsuza and Serena position? I keep it that way this whole time. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Serena's gonna survive longer that way, so I can get like a little bit more ch corp chip damage. And um, Arthur's are supposed to tank here, so since Arthur's are, since he's like a, a light armor. Yeah, but I can't like rotate to double Yuzu that way, right? If um, Arthur's are gonna be alive. 
Weil du Shiro first. Weil du S Serena hier. Ja, sí. Na, mein SA zu sah ist maxed. So I'm not really worried. But maybe because she's U50, she can survive a tad bit longer um, from getting attacked here. Damage over time is like, I think, every 4 seconds. Maybe even 3. I might be wrong. Okay, connecting three crits. Das ist so also hart on paper. Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. Was one out of three crits. Okay. 
But the minimum is like connecting to um, big crits I'm using. Okay, this one missed. Forgot. <laughs> Get Shuko as soon as possible. Followed by Serena. Then wait for Arzusa's debuff. If I can use the last three skills. Just notice Shioko's now five star. Yeah. Cheers. Makes like the molding a little bit easier. It means though that I'm like low on Enigma if I want to do well on if I want to have a comfy time on the next raids. So I'm gonna put my hopes in the banners I'm gonna pull in. Tosan is at Aruna's mercy. He's gonna smile at me and give me a blue envelope. <laughs> so yeah, in worst case, I will have like a harder time in raids. But it makes it more challenging, so I guess it's good to... I love challenges in Total Assault. They want to crit the basic as well? The optimal case, yeah. Um, my main... What I want is like double EX skill. So I can get like at least to 21 free. But if I can crit the basic as well, I can get to like to 21 too. Which is like the best case. But yeah, I want to get something around 21.4 or like below. I just want to hit like two crits with the X skill, like really big ones. So it's maybe like a 50 50, 25% to get like both of them. But if they have like the right amount of damage, 
Candy Pant. It scales like from 69 to 100% stability. Honey enough. So the basic didn't crit, but the uh, 1x. Okay, 1 out of 2. So far, nothing I could take to continue for Team 2 in those 40 minutes. Will take me, I guess, 20 minutes at that now. Worst case, updated that. the timing up of Kotama. I selected Artsuza skill for one point. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, two, one. I can technically take this one to continue. I'm gonna restart. <laughs> I think like this is a little bit too clutch for Mika, um, for Mika's team to um, cancel the sandstorm with this much groggy. Croggy was around here. Not even close to 25%, was even like 17%. Little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more. This, this was like the lowest crit um, st stability here. Like 400k is like the minimum, the max is like 700k could have done. It gave me like the minimum. I got the crit. Yeah. <laughs> I got the crit. But there's hope. Actually, I don't really need the basic to crit. It would be cool if it does, but when the normal attacks on user will crit, it does like 
30k. And if she does it often enough, it can make up for basic crit missing. We can get like to 22.7 without the basic. And it's actually good enough. she get like a mega hit here, that would be 21-3. I would be okay with 21 fall here too. But I got like no crits here. So yeah. Can't continue with that, unless I throw one more body throw. Or clear. Speedrun wise, mm, yeah. One crit is like easy enough to land, but two crits is like super hard. Even with Akko self, <laughs> even with Akko self. If you use like Shiroko and Akko, if you like 54 or like 56, doesn't look that much better. Even like 60% would be uplisting. Or we need to save Akko for Katsusa. <laughs> Thank goodness, Dress Akko is gonna come out. But we need to get setting second as Shiroko. Uh. Do we have anything that can increase crit without using X skill? I mean, like Shiroko is just like a basic skill. We need more. We need more. <laughs> we don't need guaranteed crits. Just like a little bit enough of help. Like, users' crits are too strong to ignore. Or, like, made Arisis once. Yeah, talk about the future as well. I know like, outside of Shiroko we don't have anything else that can incre increase crit rate outside of EX skill. But for the future speaking... Hey yo, you did the maximum amount with that one EX skill. 700k. We can take this one. <laughs> Good job, Yuzu. Yes, 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 yes. As Shizuko, that's crit damage buff, not crit rate buff. I want like a basic skill that can increase the crit rate. And we have only Shiroko. Yeah, that's like increasing crit damage, not crit rate. <laughs> And Shizuko's sub skill does like attack up, not like crit rate up. I know that from memory. I don't need to check.
Yeah, it's crit damage. Crit rate is like the um the chance on the chance gets gets like higher on hitting it. So yeah. Nah. Hatsune Miku can't do much. And she's expensive to build. And I think like her sub skills also like attack up. But to be honest, I ignore like I ignored her um, not building her. I was just like pulling her for the collection purpose. I mean, healing's a OP. You can use her. It's not that optimal though. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I like her song. She did um, for the Blue Archive collab. Like, just looking at lyrics. She does. Well, I'm gonna wait for that. Maybe I'm getting one guide. Am I getting one guide? This is super low on damage. Hmm, maybe at 11.7 I can take it. Okay, I guess. So it might be like a um, mistranslation too. <laughs> Increase ally crit. Could be a mistranslation. Could be a mistranslation. <laughs> I'm coping. But yeah, it could, like, could, looks kinda sus, you know. I think like Charlie G should like give a clear answer with like calculating it. But okay, when we have like one more outside of Shioko, it sounds like good, I guess. So now how we make use of um Shizuko? Should be the perfect setup. Now we need to cook, man. <laughs> ah, yeah, she can for sure like replace um, 
she for sure can't replace um Kotama or Ishioko. So there's a dilemma, but for a backup team, maybe if you rely on crit. So maybe like I'm getting like free crits up from Iori. Uh, that's a 15 seconds team. Not enough though. I use a lot of body throw teams. Yeah, that's like... I think we think I'll, we're thinking I like... Uh, I like, yeah. I'm using a character like her. Yeah, she's not good of a stats deck. If you, what do you want to say, I guess? Didn't see her shoot. What the hell? I was too slow, I guess. Man, I'm re trying. I'm restarting with this team more than necessary. This should be like one try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I'm like not. I guess like I reach like um point where I'm like really inconsistent with my execution today. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm on low today. I'm on low today. Which is normal. That can be normal. Oh, this was a good step. Now I, when Maki throws a paintball, I'm gonna use Himari. Buff. Debuff at 4 cost Mika. Now wait for 10 cost. Now I can take this. Maki can barely survive that. The next attack. Now when after the basic skirt, use Mika. One, two, three. A ten cross Himari again. And when Maki throws the paintball. A ten cross Himari in Neo Fuka. Wait with Akane. Wait for the paintball, then Mika to Himari, into Fuka. Like cycle back into Mika as soon as possible. Then basic skill from Mika. It's just like about 100k. Buff. Horse cuts. Use Mika as soon as possible. And I should get like to 11.7 or 11.6. Seven point seven. I can take this one. I wasted too much time here, so I'm not gonna restart here again. Now I can like play for twenty minutes with cards as a team. Not having UE fifty cards hurts my run so much. I'm like one million off for third phase. Hmm. You can use Pina. But she's. It needs to be built too. It's like the thing. But she um, delivers similar results when you deploy her for a full run rather than like retreating early. It's like a setup with Maki, Pina, Ochi-san, and um, a red tank like Haruka Amine. The specials are the same. 
okay actually not the same um instead of like is your core no you use as your core or do you actually yeah i think so use as your core there not a core yeah that, that was like that because you use the north for something else team water or something Midokuni has like one where you lose uh, instead of Noah um, Bunny Asana. She needs like her Bond Ghetto. So you can like get the cost back. <laughs> yeah, that is rough. It will make it harder, but m not impossible. Bunny Asana, this. I mean, I saw a run for Mido Kuni. We use Bunny Asana instead of um, of Noah. And you could get like from 12 million down to 5 million. So the purpose is like really similar. The Minokun is a good player, even though um, there's like this Hina propaganda and they have like a certain reputation, like towards newbies. Uh, in the community, but it doesn't mean that he's a bad player, he's still like very skilled and knows like how to play the game. So you can actually like take some of the resources um, they provide. Yeah, no, but it m means like, yeah, you can still like, they are like survivable. And for people who are like desperate free to plays, it can help a lot. I mean, you can still like the work of someone you dislike. Like, similar to the author of Ruroni Kenshin. Ruroni Kenshin is like, really great work, just the person behind isn't. Does it mean that you um, approve of what the author did? Not actually. It's like still separate. Yeah, hello, Blue Blues. Welcome to my team on Torment Speedrun. I'm trying to get like to 4.5 million with this team. First of all, I need to cancel the Sandstorm. And um, focus on the gameplay to not make like. to waste time for no. Um, without um, helping me to progress. So at 6.5 I'm gonna do Akko. Then Katsu as soon as possible. I need like the damage. Since the Krogi is a little bit low. I need like to overcrit some points. The timing needs to be like 
really good. Okay, that's below 900k, not average 1 million. No crit damage. Uh, that's a restart. can do it exactly one more time. If I get in the worst case, only one sense some cancel in um, 10 minutes. Crit. Well, that's average again. Then that K, not one a million. Not the nine million, one hundred, one million average. Ah, uh, missed the timing. Actually, that's good. I got lucky. <laughs> ah shit. Yeah, I can't on pause for triple speed again, so I'm losing a little bit time. This was the wrong timing, yeah. I think I got luck. I was thinking I got lucky because she activated her basic skill, but I need to do it like the right timing, so I messed up again. Okay, so I'm like forced to retry. <laughs> I saw like um, Katsasa's YouTube shot today. It came out yesterday, but um, the translation came out like a um, few hours ago. Just such a girlfriend energy. Getting so close to Sensei. <laughs> but this is like the YouTube shorts experience with like um, from Pro Archive. The pretty good thing, good stuff they bring out. Mm, let's restart. The one episode where there was like a flower petal on her hair, um, on her hair, you know, when Sensei was staring at her, and then she was like, oh, Sensei? 
Why are you staring at me so much? Is there something in my face? And <laughs> Sensei was like such a... That's like so maximum risk, you know? Yeah. Yeah, cute eyes, nose, mouth. And then her reaction was like so cute. <laughs> Like in the bot stories, she's like similar too, but in the YouTube shorts, man, they really like brought it up to the maximum. They will like deal the finishing blow if they actually release an ASM Alpha in the uh, next anniversary. This would be like the best uh, way to like finish it off. She's like good voice for that. Hot like chocolate. I need to crit two times here. Yeah, KR people are like super cultured. They know like about the internet culture and stuff, and um, what people tend to like. Japan is like can be a little bit weird with like the fetishes, you know. For example, there's like a lot of anti R, and there's like ah uh, yeah. Um, hmm. For some people, the people there are like more motivated to create um, those kind of works than um, having like something wholesome or like, yeah, good chemistry and other stuff. But sometimes they bring like good W's out for like the cultured pros. Normally it's like, um, when you have like female characters, that um, the optimal build there for like female anime characters is like those, um, um, slender, um, slender body, and um, with like some curves here and there. But uh, when they, with Artillery Riser, for example, they, um, she has like, you know, her thighs, and it was like something different. Now we have like something buffed instead of like a slender, um, petty, petty type. So it's also like so surprised. Normally they don't bring much out in this kind of aspect or like mills kind of no. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna translate that. <laughs> but if you know you know. Though it's funnier and nowadays when we talk about the cute and funny. I think this is like more of the meta. <laughs> Actually, I should like uh, update my um, emotions. I should like include something like where I go. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. How did I do that? The icon. Ooh. Oh, what? Okay. And this time, my keys, okay. I saw like a, a few weeks ago, or maybe like almost a month ago, was it? Akon got like demonetized. I think like it was like a question of time to be there to be happened, uh, for that to happen. I mean, with the content they upload, you know? <laughs> but they get like support in other way. YouTube will approach the, um, Akon like one day and be like, Hey, about the um, part we demonetized. And then they look at their, their recent video where they um, <laughs> um, keep going with those stuff and be like, mm, Yeah. Understandable? Have a nice day. <laughs> I 
this is enough. That's not enough. <laughs> You know when people have like um, post a crying emoji and then uo, I think it's not like how Akon does it, like uo, uo. How does he do that? I think it's like rather like the Takeshi clef, you know, the Japanese man crying uh, or shouting. This one kind of clef. It's it's super. It's kind of ancient. Maybe it's like one year old. I think, but still like um, really recognizable. Japanese are like so funny. But okay, are people too. In terms of like being cultured. Yeah, the one guy. You may Takeshi! Your body can't handle this anymore! Tayoko wa ikanai! Yase! I need to take this one. But I love like the edit set and um, with that meme, you know, um, like the the meme base, the community <laughs> play like some um, you say run from Hiraka, this one BGM, or like Persona music and such. And like some uh, subtitles. Memes connect us, really. Wow. But I need to take this. I don't have enough time to... Ah, but 5.5 million damage, 5.5 million HP is a lot. I might lose this ticket. Eh? I might lose this one. <laughs> but yeah, I think like this time for another backup team. One that you haven't seen before. I use like a TUK one <laughs> with the backup team. Of course, I could use like a ma the main team with t um, Kanan Sayane, but I'm gonna do it this approach a little bit lazy to think about something new. Uh, got a first try everything. Hi. I think the players they're using Hiyori first, then Yuka, when the laser is being. Getting aimed at um, Nero or Tiyuka when I do Mew and Nero. Then repeat the cycle, more or less. I should get like 2 4 million somehow. And um, why did I put Midori? It was like a, um, a random spontaneous choice, but she heats like a little bit, right? So why not? Um, Hiyori? Oh, okay. This is not better. <laughs> uh, okay. It's not better at all. No, actually, it's not bad. Non missiles. We can't survive this. Okay.
I'm gonna reach free when I reach like 4.1. Auto Mew into Neve. Formula is actually good enough to. Is this enough Kurogi? Yeah, it is more than enough. Okay. Um, this was Team 4, by the way. <laughs> team 4. I forgot to update it since I was in a time rush, but now it's Team 5. So, yeah. Two minutes. That's no way a speedrun. That's like a top 20 score in EU. Ah. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see how this will go. Just like bad luck, bad Anji. My first try, uh, surprisingly, was like the best one. This one was off stream. I don't have the video anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Life is Kuyashi. I think I'm gonna mock up a little bit uh, off stream. I also want to draw fan art um, of the um, train conductors in Blue Archive. They have like no names, like Tachibana Nozomi and Tachibana Hikari. Really good names, actually. But then you look at the behavior and the story, and they're like such kusogakis, <laughs> such brats. It's correction. <laughs> huh? Huh? You need correction. GG's. Stop the timer. <sighs> if I'm gonna do art stream, should I do an art stream today? Here or afterwards? I actually want to draw them. Like in a cheapy style. I think that looks funny. Will it take me about one hour? Maybe. Like when I usually draw the thumbnail arts with my chibi, it takes like about 30 minutes. So with two characters, like about one hour. Could do something like that. But I need to make a thumbnail first too. Huh. Let's, let's do it like that, actually. Normally, um, I was like saying something along the lines um, one week, two weeks ago, that I want to draw a lot more in March, since. Um, the anime is gonna come out, but we also have like some story updates from the main story in Jap the Japan server. And um, what they bring out is like super good too. For some reason they are like, like um, the archive is so good at like um, designing characters, I must say. They're like um, so cultured, they know like what we want, what we like, and um, we have like those um, gakis, you know, um, with the Dekakramaton, Dekakramaton brats. Like with Ein or Sof, and man, they were like, so cute and funny. <laughs> but now we have the Shubukagis too, like um, the, the little train conductors there, and oh crap, peak design. <laughs> Some people like say uh, or like post under those um, posts or like fan arts, like the twins from um, Persona, Persona 5 Royal, Persona 5 Normal. Like, they're like those two brats too, but they're not as like, um, gakis like as, um, the Shupo gakis, and they don't give the same vibe. It's like more of the cool vibe than like, anything cute and funny, like. But when I draw, it's like, yeah, it's maybe like me on the innocent side or like, more, um, cool ass. Um, on how I draw it, um, usually. 
like Iva I draw like um, a pretty in serious style, like um, with, with like my Chibi for example, or um, yeah, I make them look cool for some reason. It's kind of like taking it cute, but making it cool. Something like this with my um, with my recent Shibugaki art. But yeah. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna make something more in the um, funny kind of direction. If it's gonna be cute and funny, I don't know. Um, never up tried that approach. You need like to be like really knowledgeable about um, anatomy and like um, you need, need to know a lot about the human body. Maybe like about clothing folds to make like things a lot more appealing, you know, to the cultured eye. But um, in general, um, it's like a skill kind of. So yeah, I think like I'm gonna set up a waiting room for um, our art stream. So if you wanna hop in and um, and want to hear me talk as well, it's like a lot chill when I do like art streams. I like talk a lot more. Um, arts actually like it's like more of a chatting stream, more like. But yeah, but if you are um, looking forward to like more blog of gameplay, can tune in tomorrow. I will set up a waiting room. For that too after the gorilla art stream and then um that's about it for um that stream now i wish you are all people who i won't see on the art stream um, a nice rest of the day evening or good night whatever time zone you are there's still an answer question in the chat but does tracing improve drawing if you liked in the beginning of the, draw, uh, the drawing progress, it can help you. Just draw anything, trace anything, you know, like as a reference um, you like. But at some point, when you're like confident of tracing, do it without tracing, you know, just like little by little. And then you improve naturally. It's like the same thing with people who lost like a part of their brain and then um, they can't walk, right? Then, okay, where do you start? Try to move like your toes a little bit. Can you move them? Little by little? Then after you are like confident moving your toes, maybe try to move your um, your um, foot joints. I don't know what's called. Maybe try to move them around. And um, at some point you can actually like move your feet, maybe yeah, your legs in general. And then move forward. Try to walk little by little, maybe crawl. As long as you can move, you know. It's like the same thing with like drawing, that you like go like from step to step. If you stay with tracing forever, you will never improve. But it's a good start. Alright. Anyway, I'm gonna say bye bye.